Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the product of the roots of this logarithmic equation. Now, to solve this problem, we are going to start by solving the equation. And of course, to solve this equation, we have to take log of both sides of the equation. And since we are working in base 10 already, because remember that when the base of the log is not specified, it means we are working in base 10. So let us continue with base. 10. So when we take log of both sides of the equation, we have that log x to power log x is equal to log 3x squared. Now let us apply the power rule of logarithms to this left hand side. That is the rule that says that we can bring down this exponent, that is the exponent of x, which is log x, to the front of the log term to become a multiplier. When we apply this rule, we have log x times log x, that is this, is equal to, now remember that 3 times x squared is a product, and of course, log a times b is equal to log a plus log b. So this can be written as log 3 plus log x squared. And the next thing we are going to do is that we will apply the power rule to this term. We are going to bring down 2, that is the exponent of x, to the front of this log term. When we do that, on the right hand side we have log 3 plus 2 times log x. Now you can see that here we have log x log x and here we also have log x so let log x be equal to the letter d so we replace this with d we replace this with d and we'll replace this with d now on the left hand side we are going to have d times d which is d squared and this is going to be equal to log 3 plus 2 d now, when we rearrange this equation, we have that d squared minus 2d is equal to log 3. We cannot factorize this quadratic equation, so let us solve by completing the square method. Now, since the coefficient of d squared is already 1, the next thing we are going to do is to add the square of half the coefficient of d. To both sides of this equation. Now, what is the coefficient of d? It is minus 2. What is half of it? Minus 1. So, we are going to add minus 1 squared to both the left-hand side and the right-hand side to complete the square. So, when we do that, we have d squared minus 2d plus minus 1 squared is equal to log 3 plus minus 1 squared. Now, this left hand side is a perfect square. So we take 1d and we take 1 minus 1 and we square both. Note that if we expand this bracket, this is exactly what we get. And of course, this is equal to minus 1 squared is 1. So here we have 1 plus log 3. Now to solve this equation, all we have to do is to take square root of both sides of the equation. When we do that, we have that d minus 1 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 plus log 3. And of course, when we add 1 to both sides of this equation, we have that d is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus log 3. So now we have two values of d. Now going back to this equation, we have that log to base 10 of x is equal to d. And of course, you know that from this equation, this simply means that 10 to the power d is equal to x. So we have that x1 is equal to 10 to the power d1 because we have two values of d. And x2 is equal to 10 to the power d2. So the product of the roots of this equation, that is x1 times x2, 
is going to be equal to 10 to the power d1 multiplied by 10 to the power d2. And of course, you know that when we have two numbers with the same base multiplying themselves, we simply add the exponents. So this is going to be equal to 10 to the power d1 plus d2. So the product is going to be 10 to the power d1 plus d2. Now, of course, from here we have that d1 is equal to 1 plus root 1 plus log 3. And we have that d2 is equal to 1 minus root 1 plus log 3. And of course, when we add two of them, this plus this is equal to 2. And this plus this is equal to 0 because this is going to cancel that. So we have that d1 plus d2 is equal to 2. So the product of the roots, which is x1 times x2, is going to be equal to 10 to the power 2, which is equal to 100. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more videos here.